Time now to find out what our old friend Kitty Flanagan has been up to lately in a segment she's asked me to call What's Kitty Flanagan been up to lately? What's Kitty Flanagan been up to lately? Lately. Hey, Chuck, nice to be back. Uh, great to have you, Kitty. I'm not sure we needed that elaborate title sting, though. The what? The sting, you know, the bit you always insisted on putting at the top of the segments, the music and the titles. Oh, that always was my favourite bit, Chuck. And during COVID, I had a lot of time to sit around and come up with new segment ideas and new stings. Thought I'd run a few past you just for old time's sake. Check this one out. The upsides of COVID. Nice one, Kit. We could all use some good cheer in these dark times. Uh, talk us through the upsides of COVID. Oh, I couldn't actually think of any, which is a real shame because that is a top-notch sting. Right. So, um, is there anything else that you've been up to, Kitty? Anything you've been filming, perhaps? Oh, yes. I got into that thing everyone's into now, where you film one second a day of video. Take a look. Is, is that it? Well, so far, I only started doing it this morning. Now, look, I was trying to make this seem natural and organic, but I think this segment should have been called Kitty Flanagan doesn't understand the concept of network cross-promotion. Perhaps you would like to tell us about the show that you've been making, your new comedy series, Fist, that starts right after the weekly tonight? Yes. Yes, I would, Charlie. Um, I just made a comedy series called Fisk, and it starts right after this show, The Weekly. It stars me and Julia Zemiro and Aaron Chen and Marty Shegold. Sounds great. Do you have a clip you can show us? Uh, don't... No, I don't have a clip, but I, I, I do have um, one of the scripts here, actually, so I could do a bit of a read for you, if that is any good. Um, sure. Episode one. Interior. Day. Solicitor's office. Helen, a woman, sits at her desk. She sips a coffee. Her face tells us the coffee tastes good. It's just what she needed. A man enters. He is angry. We know this because his face tells us that he is angry. <laughs> he also tells us with his mouth. Man. Hey, Fisk, I'm angry. Helen looks up, surprised. Okay, Her now, face so, tells us Sorry, she's Kitty, 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 seriously, while, while it is genuinely leaping off the page, Thank I, you. I, I can't believe you don't have a trailer. Why would you come on the show if you don't have Look, a trailer? I, okay, I do have one, but we didn't have the budget to cut it here, so we had to send it offshore, and I'm just not convinced they understood the tone of the show, but anyway, roll the trailer. From the makers of other things comes... Fisk. Fisk. Fisk with a K. In a time of uncertainty... I don't see a reference. No? One woman stands defiant. Can you get a reference? No. Helen Tudor Fisk. Running from her past, running up debt. You need money. Running like someone who doesn't know how to run. Kitty Flanagan is Fisk. Aaron Chen is the probate clerk. Julia Zemiro is the tough lady boss. Put a cover on that before we put it in the microwave. And introducing little Marty Sheargold. Rosie, they're chalking the tyres. Okay, now, Kitty, I've seen the first ep. It's, it's nothing like that trailer. There's no fireballs. Um, and, and it's actually very, very funny. Oh, thank you, Chuck. And um, seriously, hey, please let me know if you want me to come back next week and show you six more of my second-a-day videos, cos happy to do it. I am, um... I'm pretty lonely at the moment. Ah, uh, let's, let's play it by ear. Thanks, Kitty. And uh, just quickly, why are you in the car park? Oh, my um, pass doesn't work anymore. I couldn't get up in the lifts. So <laughs> just right. Hanging out. 